Hello there, I am Giant Grodel, and this is my finale to my video game collections series, side series, video games that I own, side series. Yeah, um, this is a finale, and, uh, if I do want to show off my potential, you know, growing, as my, you know, Nintendo Switch game collection gets bigger, or if any, any new consoles come out, I start to build a collection out of that eventually. That might, that might take years and years, but, uh, if I do, if I do get somewhat of a collection for, like, my Nintendo Switch collection, I'll do a separate video for that. But for this side series, this is the finale where I just show off my Wii U games. Because I think this is all, this is pretty much all the Wii U games I might get, I might get. Um, yeah, and other than that, I might want to get, I might want to get, like, a physical copy of, like, you know, The Legend of Zelda, uh, The Wind Waker HD, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I also have, um, a copy of, uh, a digital copy of Super Mario 3D World that's on my Wii U, it came pre-installed on my Wii U, and I have, I have a digital copy of that, because it came with my Wii U bundle when I got my Wii for Christmas, so yeah. I think I got my Christmas, uh, my Wii for Christmas, uh, Christmas 2015, so that's pretty cool. So yeah. Let's, uh, go through this, let's go through this, um, stack, but yeah. I haven't got, I haven't broken up the stack yet, I'm gonna have myself, sorry. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. Okay, before I actually break away the stack of these wonderful Wii U games, I wanna count how many Wii games I have, okay? So I have, these are both Super Mario Maker, so yeah, one, two, Three, four, five, because it comes with two, these two games, New Super Luigi U, and Luigi, uh, New Super Luigi U, and New Super Mario Bros. U. Or, uh, New Super Luigi U, I should say. Okay, let's look at that again. One, because that's both my maker. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, six, um, six physical copies of Wii U games, and then I have, um, one digital copy, as I said, of Super Mario 3D World on my Wii U. So that would mean seven, I have seven Wii U games. So yeah, th these have got me through the Wii U timeline. I mean, if you have all of these games, like right here, you should be good. Unless you're like, really, like, you know, like wanting more gaming experience and entertainment. But for like a casual gamer like me, I'm a casual gamer. I think these seven games, or the six games right here, plus the Super Mario 3D World digital copy. You know, they've got to me through the Wii U timeline, honestly. So let's break up these, uh games finally and get to them one by one and I'll show them off. First we have Super Mario Maker ready for everyone on the Wii U. This game is really fun. I still play it today. I haven't played it in a while but I've been wanting to play it again. You know, make your own Mario levels. That's awesome. And you can play other people's levels. It's fun. It's definitely better than the 3DS version of Super Mario Maker in my opinion because in the 3DS version you can't uh, play on the online levels or, or some and stuff so yeah. Um, Move this back. Yeah, so I had to film two apparently. <laughs> but yeah, this is this box. This is the box that came in, and this is the actual case of the game right here. So that's awesome. So yeah, I really like this game. I recommend it. And let's move on to the next game. Next we have um, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Back over there, you can see my lanterns right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's cool. I guess. Um, it's rated E10 for Rage's Ten and Up. But I remember Melee. And then Brawl being rated teen, but for the Smash Brothers for the Wii U, they made it rated E for 10, age 10 and up. This game is really fun. I've unlocked all the characters. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I have all the stages, including the DLC. I have all the characters, including the DLC. It's a fun game. We always play it on Super Nintendo, guys, which is fun. And, uh, we have a good time. So yeah, I recommend this game. I got this game, um, I got, um, Mario Maker actually from, uh, I think if it's from GameStop, I paid like sixty dollars for it. And then for this game, I bought um it at uh I got I bought it with Christmas money, and I got it um sure after Christmas sure after Christmas at GameStop. And I bought it new, and I really like this game. It's really fun. Smash Four is really fun. I'd recommend it if I didn't already say that. So yeah, let's move on to the next game. Here is Mario Kart Eight. It's a really fun. It's the next installment. After Mario Kart 7, obviously, for 3DS. But there's an next installment after that of a Mario Kart racing game. I really like it. I prefer Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch dub because it has, like, more characters and, uh, you get the D all the DLC and stuff uh, automatically when you buy the game. But I also, I also got all the DLC for Mario Kart 8, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I've unlocked all the carts and wheels and all that and gliders, but still a fun game. I'd recommend it. Uh, I remember buying this, I think, at... 
think it was a uh, Best Buy or no, maybe it may have been just from uh, GameStop as well. I paid like the Wii games are like fifty nine ninety nine, so I paid over like sixty dollars to buy this game. But I think it was worth it. It's a fun game. I recommend it if I never say that. Now let's move on to the next game. Here is New Super Mario Bros. U. We actually did a Let's Play of this on Giant Grotto, my channel, and Super Nintendo Guys. That's pretty cool. Three play Let's Play. Because Gus wasn't really into it. He's still at the Minnesota at the time, so he can always record with us for this game. So it's just Sam, the TBC, Matt Pestleward, and I, Giant Grotto. And uh, we just played three player mode and we got through the whole game. We didn't get all the star coins because I didn't want all my friends to go through the pain of getting all the star coins like we did in New Super Bros. Wii. But um, we had a fun, like, casual playthrough of this game and it was really fun. We beat, um, we beat Bowser, you know, we didn't get, we didn't really focus on the star coins or like World 9 or any of the secret exits or anything like that. Or any of the secret worlds, I guess. Because there's a lot of levels in this game and a lot of secrets too. But yeah, we didn't go for that this time like we did in New Super Bros. Wii, but that's okay. And it also came with a Super, new Super Luigi, which we played on as Super Nintendo guys. But we made it to the, back to, to the World 2 Fortress, and then like, with four players, you can't really maneuver that fortress very well, and we ran out of time several times. And it was a big, we just ended, we just ended up this, ending that series there, I guess. So, that's that. And I recommend this game, it's really fun, it's a good 3D, uh, side scorer, platformer. And, it's a fun game, honestly. If you have some friends, you can play it all, the, play it with your friends. And, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a good time, unless you like, unless you just try to do like a versus and like try to see who can kill each other the most in the game with the characters and whatnot. But yeah, it's a fun game nonetheless. And uh, I got this game. I paid um, I think I paid around sixty dollars for this game, but it came with like two games because New Super Luigi U and New Super Bros U. Uh, I bought from GameStop and it was really fun. And yeah, it's a fun game. Yeah, my hand was blocking the rated E for, for a second, but yeah, there you go. So yeah, I do like this game a lot though. Last game I have for my Wii U collection, Nintendo Wii U collection, is Splatoon. I don't sp I don't play Splatoon that much, but uh, and I don't have Splatoon 2 for my Switch yet, but I, I might consider buying it back. But like the thing is, I never really got into Splatoon, so I don't play it that much. But I'd be willing to play it and get into it some more in the future. I just have so much other stuff going on, like I've been focusing on you know the side series and then I'm also focusing on trying to record more Odyssey which you know, I still need to play more Odyssey so I don't get lost with all, trying to find all star moons and stuff trying to spend five minutes or ten minutes looking for a power moon even though it might be right under my nose and then also I want to focus on uh, my Legend of Zelda The Link's Awakening DX uh, Let's Play too. so yeah I don't really have time to like if if I'm doing a project for a game like, you know, for example, Super Mario Odyssey. I'm, I, I usually play that game a lot more because I'm doing a project on it and I'm like recording it too as I play along. But like, for Splatoon 2, I'm not doing a project on Splatoon or Splatoon 2. So, I, it just gets put on the back burner and like, I don't focus on really playing it, you know. I don't have that much time to play it. Unless I'm playing with like also my friends for Super Nintendo guys. Even if we're just playing a game casually for Super Nintendo guys, just to when while the, when the over at my house, we're just playing a random game like Melee. But we're also trying to get back to recording Melee because it's one of our endless video game series that we're doing. Because it's like you can't really have a finale for that unless you want to end a series like with a certain like thing like a battle or whatnot versus Melee. But yeah, it's kind of like endless in my opinion. Because like yeah. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah. It's just, I feel like it can be endless because you can have so many different melee battles and there's only, you can, you can have a finale, but you don't also, you don't also have to have a finale, which is, I guess, true. So that's what we're going for with that. But yeah, there's that. Let's go back to, um, all these video games being stacked up on top of each other. So yeah, that was my Nintendo Wii U collection of video games. And this is for now, like I said, oh, in this video. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. So this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank for thinking goodbye and hope to see you guys in my next video.